I heard that was because like the taxes are different on um, cameras, on regular cameras and video cameras. So in order to charge, because they're taxed less uh, for a regular camera than a video camera, the limitation the limitation is 30 minutes. So they do it at 30 minutes so they can pay taxes on cameras and not video cameras. Yep, so they let you record for 30 minutes. If you have a device that records over 30 minutes, then as a company, you're taxed for a video camera. Yeah. So now they tax the people instead of taxing themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you ready? Oh, yeah. All right. Five, four, three, two. Let's hope I get it right this time. One. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the Worship Leader Podcast. I'm Terry. And this is Josh. This is Josh. Uh, we got an exciting <laughs> episode today. I'm going to talk about a few things. But uh, first, we, you know, we always get caught up in everything. And I forgot. I don't have the sippy cup. I forgot my water. Honestly, I didn't get any water. Either. Yeah. I guess so we're just going to die of thirst. <laughs> so <laughs> <if you're> <laughs> <laughs> Licking our lips and everything, bringing up chapstick. <laughs> So yeah, I, and as soon as I said that, my mouth like just literally. It really, it literally. legitimately wasn't bothering me. Until you know what? We just talked about I'm, it. Can you just can you keep them company? Yeah. Okay. I, so because <laughs> I really gotta go get some water. Y'all. Okay. You know how like whenever you like talk about something, like you talk about like you're hungry or you're thirsty or something like that. Can you get me a water too? <laughs> <laughs> like you talk about like oh i'm hungry or something like that and all of a sudden like you could have went like hours and not even thought about it and then all of a sudden it's just like wow i'm wasting away i'm nothing but a skeleton right now it is weird how like the mind works and how it's just like you can just like ignore an essential need of your body for a long period of time until somebody makes you aware thank you so much and this we're back shout out to sam's club for uh or supplying us with <laughs> great drinking water. <laughs> oh my gosh! So, so how was your week, man? You, um, everything, everything pretty good. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> I'm good. I'm sorry, I couldn't you off. Uh, I always take my labels off of my water bottles, just as an identifier. I'm going to be I'm honest, drink after some I don't do it as an identifier. I just do it sometimes because I'm like, I don't know what to call it. Just not necessarily destructive, but just, I, it just I don't It's know. satisfying to take it a little <laughs> bit off of there. I do. Yeah. But it's like, it doesn't happen right away. It's like it has to sit there and bother me for a while, and then I take it off. I don't know. I'll bend the corners on, on the paper, too. I'll just bend the, the corner tag just so I'll have some kind of identifier. Especially Honestly, when you have though, water close Like if together. you're like at a, at a party or something like that and there's like a million water bottles and they're all the same. I'm going to turn my phone on silent. <laughs> Thanks, Eric, for the sh for the reminder. Shout out to Eric, Eric Maxwell. He's he's over. <laughs> 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 well, you reminded us to turn our phone down, so that's good. <laughs> always, always here to help. I can cut you person. off like five or six times. I'm sorry. Honestly, I'm all good. <laughs> I really, it's weird. I was there. I promise I was there. I did. I just, I don't know. I went to work. I went to church. I went home. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't have some super eventful thing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It was, it was just a, it was just a week dialing in. Just, it was a just, week of living. Yeah. <laughs> it was a week of living. Yeah. Phoning in this week. Uh, my, my week has been, man, we, we finally like with, um, with, um, we finally got some people hired, so I've had uh, I've had a few days off this week. I was off Monday. I was off Tuesday. Uh, I worked for like a couple of hours yesterday, like two hours yesterday. I worked for like two hours today. I'll be off through the week, so I was off all the whole week except for like four hours. And that's a oh okay. So to catch y'all up, they have a cleaning business. Yes, yes, they they own a cleaning business. Um. And yeah, that's it's it's a, actually a pretty big deal because he's basically been working almost every day for like a while. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like with while. the whole like the pandemic and you know like when when people are I'll try to be I'm on eggshells, <laughs> but when you know they they were rightfully so for the mm -hmm. pandemic they were they were supporting people, mm -hmm. which is that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I think that needs to happen when people can't work. 
They need like that's what that's what we pay taxes for for mm-hmm. those times. Also, it's kind of like catch twenty two. When people get used to that, yeah. then they'll they'll you know yeah. they'll they'll continue that even yeah. when it's not needed anymore. Check so, me, please. <laughs> and that's and that that's kind of that's kind of what it, it's affected. It's affected us being able to employ people, just because some a lot of people just want to stay at home. If if they can stay at home, you know they stay at home. So and I'm be honest, whatever. If you are currently working somewhere or you currently own a business or you've been trying to hire somebody for like the past like 12 months or you manage a place <laughs> where you have to hire people or you you're are you are if i think any i think every part of the 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 chain gets it now because literally if if you're working then you know how short staffed it is in everywhere you know. in like every everything like yeah. there's not like one industry that's like Oh yeah, we have an abundance of people. Nobody's saying nobody. That right we now. went. To, we went to um, nobody's saying that. <laughs> we went to a um, restaurant, a sit-in restaurant. Uh, I think it was like last week, and they were, they were doing to go only. They were doing takeout only. Oh. and I thought it was because like the surge that's been going mm-hmm. on, but we went. We came later, and it it was open. So they were just doing that because they didn't have enough people to staff honestly i've heard of that happening to a down. lot of like, even like major food chains yeah like, yeah this was a major yeah this was a oh. major th- it was uh chilies <laughs> really yeah so they didn't they didn't shout out to chilies i love chilies you know uh um, honey honey chipotle chip, chipotle there we go okay <laughs> <laughs> Chip- honey chipotle <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> um Oh, man, I'm all over the place. Oh but um, like uh, that Southwestern egg rolls. Oh, man. Those, those are good. Are, those are really Y'all. good. Like the crunchy. Oh, man. Y'all. I haven't <laughs> had them in a long time. Those are so good. <laughs> since they introduced the like the introduced the uh, two for 25 or the, the three for 10 or whatever. Wait, the three for 10. 25? <laughs> they they got they have a three for ten and a two for twenty five. We get the three for ten. Yeah, but the three for twin, for three for twin, three for ten. Yeah, that's where it's at. Yeah, you get Y'all. you get the entree, <laughs> the uh, appetizer, and the drink for ten dollars. For ten dollars, and for lu- isn't it just for lunch or is it like just no no that's that's their menu oh. like. You can get it all times a day. Put a plug in <laughs> three for ten, y'all. <laughs> three for ten, and and it's like since they've done that. I don't get anything. That's the only thing I get. Like, I mean, like it's basically because I I don't I personally don't eat the dessert at Chili's just because I don't know I'm really picky about Whew, my They have that chocolate chip. It's like cutting you off again. Yeah. <laughs> that chocolate chip cookie skillet, like with the I ice cream. Oh man, they cook okay, it in the skillet. I don't like chocolate chip cookies. Oh, don't stone Josh, me. Josh. <laughs> don't stone me. I got me, the y'all. stones and I got the stones outside. Oh, gosh. Uh, so so what? I, I know you said you like those sweetish, not sweetish fish. Um. um Oh my god! They're they're all they're like uh. We just talked about this like last time I was here. Uh, I forgot. V- v- Vienna. Oh yeah, Vienna fingers. Vienna fingers. Vienna yeah. fingers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I do love those. Love those. I, it's weird. Like I like. What is it? Sugar cookies, but I don't. It's not just like the regular sugar cookies. I gotta have like the frosted sugar cookies because just having sugar just isn't enough for some reason. Okay. But <laughs> let me let me ask you this. So you you get the do you get like the do you remember like the ginger cookies with like the oh. the pink icing on them? Y- you, I'm, I might be showing my age. You do, you, do you know? You know what I'm talking about? Those things are I don't I don't care for them. Uh, but ask you a question: like when you get uh, what type of cookies with icing on it do you get? Um, oh, you mean like the like the basic ones that you can get at Walmart, like in the, the bakery, bakery ones. Section. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. ones that look like they give yeah. you diabetes I by the end those. of the week. <laughs> I love those. Those things are so good though. I killed a box by myself one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> What'd you say? Oatmeal ones. Oh, I forgot about the oatmeal one. I don't know. Okay, so I'm weird. Oatmeal. I gotta be like the little oatmeal cookies. Just right. Yeah, the off-brand oatmeal. Cookies. We're talking about like just. It's, Oatmeal in the in honestly the, just like in general. Just yeah. Like, oh, just general. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. Like, not like a like a glob of frosting, but just like the little glaze. Wait, they make oatmeal cookies with the frosting on them? Yeah, it's like the it's just like a glaze, glaze. of frosting. Like it's just like it's literally like the oatmeal cookie. And you just see the little white stuff on. Oh, it. okay. Is this sugar. something I see? And I'd be like, oh yeah, that that's what you're Probably. talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still not not. I don't know. It's not ringing. Honestly, it's one of those things because it's like nobody ever buys it, and so it's just like. Unless you like literally just this is your thing and you get it all the time, you probably yeah you probably yeah, 
Because hmm. people don't just buy it at party. I got oat, frosted oatmeal cookies. <laughs> Nobody brings that. Nobody. Now, <laughs> Chick-fil-A, they have they have oatmeal cookies with chocolate chips in them. Have you tried those? No, but I've heard that cho- oh, uh, Chick-fil-A cookies oh. are the best. Oh, they are. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, they, it's like I have, it's something I, special. I have not met a person that does not like yeah. the Chick-fil-A cookies. It's specifically it's, the chocolate chip. It's something like, special. It, like it's they they got something going on there for real. It's, <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, it is something special, I guess. And changing, I change on a dime. Out of Chick-fil-A. Like going back to my week, uh, I've been off, but <laughs> I like, forgot this one. Yeah, about. <laughs> I forgot too. It just it just randomly <laughs> came back to me. Like I don't know. I, I I've been off, but when you're off, it's kind of like, are you off? Like when you, uh-huh. it's like because it I've been off, but then I've been catching up on things around the house that need to be done. Honestly, I feel like once you have kids, like, unless you legitimately bring your kids back to, to the kids. <laughs> this, yeah, this, hey, this might Literally be, this like, might be an hour right here now that we're like on the kids. Unless, bring your kids yeah. somewhere and say, watch my child and feed them and clothe them yeah. for, like, a week. Like, you don't. And then, like, it, and not just that, like, you literally have to bring your kids somewhere, and then you yourself go somewhere else. Like, it doesn't really feel like vacation because, yeah. like, in your mind, you're just like, I could be cleaning this. I need to do laundry. Yes. I need to do the dishes. Or there's a million toys in the floor, and you're like, I got to do this. Like, it, it's just, I'm it's. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes I just let them sit there. Oh, oh. Just me most if you want of, to. <laughs> most of the time, I let them sit there. And me and my wife got into a discussion. I'll say a discussion. <laughs> About so diplomatic. About <laughs> <laughs> about um again kids with, and you know it's probably my fault. I'm I'm sure, and I'm I'm not being sarcastic. It probably <laughs> it really is my fault. Uh, the our discussion, uh, our argument. It's probably my fault <laughs> because like it, the there there was it's just the house. Like we had mm-hmm. clothes that we we had like we laid them out. They were in the in the living room. We hadn't folded them up yet, and you know that can happen. They can be there for a day or two. It happens. Uh, it's a real thing. The kids were in the front. They used. They had blocks everywhere. They had toys everywhere. They had toys all in my studio. Like there was a trail of toys oh. everywhere, and so we were we were just like, we got to get this house clean. And, <laughs> and it, you know the tensions yeah. w- tensions were rising just because it was like we got to get this house clean. It's really weird. Like having a cluttered house stresses you out. It does. At least for me. Oh like, no no no! It it's does. It's a stressful thing. It is. It's a it's it's a really stressful. It's thing. It's really weird. But then like you don't do anything about it, so it's just like it's a permitted stress. Yeah yeah. Like, it's like <laughs> I, I'll allow this stress, like, <laughs> so I can get some me time. Basically, you know? honestly, <laughs> stressed out me time is better. It's, it's better than, than no me time, than no at, me all, time at all. <laughs> So, so, uh, so we were talking about getting cleaned up and I was like, look, we, we just need to take all these toys and just throw them away, get them, <laughs> put them, put them up somewhere where they have to come to us for the toys. And then, and so Trisha works from home and she's always working. And so that's a burden on her having to go and get every toy and I'm away that's working. True. So I'm, it's just easy for me just to put them up. My own just be bopping around. It. And I'm like, man, just put them up. She was like, the kids cannot have nothing to play with. It's just. They're gonna, whatever. And I was like, well, you can't, you can't teach them. I mean, you try to teach them. We try and we try and we try, and there's still just toys everywhere. We can tell them, we can Literally. whatever. And and so I was, she was like, no, you gotta teach them and you gotta be consistent. I was like, no, there's no, no consistency. No consistency. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just, it was just, you know. And she was like, "It's our fault. We're the parents. We have to be teaching." I'm like, "No, we tell these kids honestly all like, the time, and they just, they just." And it feels like it's just like I don't know, I don't know. And I'm, I'm sitting here talking. My, my child barely, she just barely made one just now. So yeah. it's like I don't know, but I feel <laughs> like I feel that because like I don't know, I don't know if this is like her personality thing yeah. or if it's just. I don't know. I don't know if this is an all kid thing. She just likes making a mess. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, man, it's just, it. and it's gonna yeah. like, and and the thing is, like, I, I, after you know everything was over, I see both sides. Like, if you're really consistent with a child, eventually, when they're grown and out of the house, then <laughs> you'll have a clean house. When they have kids of their own, <laughs> <laughs> like, but it, it, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that. It can be done. I think with the American lifestyle and the go and go with with even Trisha being an at home mom, but she's mm-hmm. still always on the go because she's yeah. she's running the 
the scheduling and the the so that dealing with really customers. Doing customers. Two different things because yeah. she's like stay at home mom slash right. work from home right. Kind of and usually most of the time, unless you're like uh like married to like <laughs> Jeff uh, Bezos or, or oh, yeah. Gates or something like that, then you know, then if you're stay at home, you're stay at home doing something. You're Some not just stay at home. So <laughs> somebody somebody it's just, hustling. It's tough. I don't even know where I was going with this. Uh, it's I see both both mm-hmm. sides. Like it, I'm sure it can be done, like teaching your kid, but the American lifestyle doesn't lend to having enough time to really like dial in and teach teach your kid to pick up and be super consistent with it. To be at honest, least at least me and and a lot of the people I know. I mean cuz it's just like most of the time you're just like I could spend the 30 minutes that that cuz really truly like if you take if you give like a good 30 minutes to cleaning it's really not that bad. But yeah. in the midst of like everything else it's just yeah, like, like 30 minutes. I need to find 30 minutes to clean. When I'm not doing something else, and in the energy to clean the energy, for yeah, because yeah, right. like, yeah, yeah. And if you're in the Alexandria area, House Doctors Cleaning, you can give us a call. That's a free commercial. <laughs> free commercial. Putting a plug. <laughs> Putting a shameless, shameless plug. <laughs> oh yeah, and with our congratulations to the podcast, we are um, now over about on all, all platforms. We are just north of 8,000 uh, wow. 8, views, streams, clicks, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't know. We're, 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 uh, we're just over 8,000, so we're, we're trekking the 10,000 mark. Oh. So we'll have to do it big. When we hit the 10,000 mark, we'll have to do thank something y'all. big. Thank y'all. Yeah, thank y'all. Because basically y'all. This, is, this is y'all. I mean, yeah. we're, we're just two people. Yeah, I we're mean, just but <laughs> this is y'all. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's definitely <laughs> y'all. We, we appreciate it. We definitely appreciate it. We, yeah, we, we, we love it. Um, and getting caught up and everything. Oh yeah, I wanted to do a. Uh, I would. I wanted to do a. Would you rather? For I guess for the next segment, we'll just transition into it. Would you rather um, be constantly itchy or constantly clammy? You can weigh in on this too, Eric. You're off camera, but weigh in on it if you if you want to. <laughs> If you couldn't hear, he said, I'm both all the time, so. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, oh. I guess, like, if you're constantly oh. itchy, like, I think I would be, well, I don't know. I'm so, I'm so just. I'm going to be honest, because I've done the constantly itchy thing, and that just makes me. It's horrible. Mad. It's horrible. It just makes me mad. I guess, I guess the, <laughs> the constantly itchy <laughs> is like. You're con- like, just think of like a mosquito bite all over all, all the, the time. time. It's constantly annoying, and yeah. like you get no peace. Yeah, in the, in the no entire peace. Time. And then I guess with clammy, it would be like you can't shake any anybody's hand because it'll be like. I mean, you could if you, you want to be like inconsiderate. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like put her there. <laughs> uh, I guess it would be the. I guess it would be the. It would be the the equivalent of. A summer day in Louisiana, like all the time, all the time, and you're no. Relief. I guess without without the heat, but just the the constant the humidity, constant like the uh, yuck. Yeah, you feel like yuck all the time. I could deal with. You'd that. be clammy, sweaty. I could uh, deal with it. I think I would. I think I would rather be constantly it not itchy. No, constantly <laughs> clammy than constantly itchy because constantly itchy affects. You more than than being constantly clammy. I clammy think. is just like you get mildly self conscious and you can work through that. Yeah. But itchy, I I can't work through that. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I could, I could not. I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> just like I, I, I can't. Not, and you wouldn't. Know. You wouldn't even. Yeah, I, I started scratching my arm. <laughs> Air scratching in the back now. Like. <laughs> He's gonna be against the. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> So I, I guess you like constantly itchy is like it's like you wouldn't be able to sleep. You wouldn't be able to literally like, like you can sleep clammy. You, you can't can. like you can't really like have like a constant train of thought because like constantly there's that like I'm itchy. I'm itchy. I'm itchy. Like, and I, I don't think itchy is something you'd get used to. Like some things you you I get used to it. To I don't think you would get used to being itchy all the time. It. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, man, it's that's crazy. I don't. Yeah, for me it would definitely be 
constantly itchy uh, over constantly clammy. And uh, let's do another one. I, I like that. We'll do another one. Another one would be, uh, would you, let me see if I can find a good one here. I'm just imagining uh, myself constantly clammy. In this. <laughs> <laughs> this All right. So would you rather um, have, let me see. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we've done that one before. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Filtering the internet. So, <laughs> would you... No, not that one either. I thought it was good from the first one. Well. I just <laughs> that's how they get you, really. Okay, so would you... This one... See, I think... I feel like this one's like the other one, so I won't do that one. Uh, would you rather... Um, Would you? Oh, this is a good one. Would you rather spend the day with a complainer versus spend the day with a bragger? It's the entire day. <laughs> so you got the complainer, oh my which gosh. like it's basically the same. It's it basically the feels, same thing. It feels like an impossible situation. <laughs> <laughs> like let's okay. How do you choose? <laughs> so if you were the <laughs> if you were the bragger, you're kind of like. You literally cannot. You can't. You, you can't, can't take it. You can't have a good anything. Yeah. <laughs> you can never have a good yeah. anything. But honestly, it's the same thing with the complainer. Complainer, like it, uh, because they're gonna shoot it down. <laughs> I, I think. I think I'll go with the constant bragger, and here's why: like the constant complainer, they begin to weigh on your morale. Like they after do. listening to a complaining for it's a like while, that comes you're like, on uh, you. <laughs> you know what? It is kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life is terrible. Life is <laughs> terrible. With a bragger, you're like, man, man ugh, get out of my face. Literally. You know? It's just like, I wish they would stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they would stop. But Literally, I think <laughs> just sitting there internally, <laughs> you're smiling, but you're just like, I'm not going to say no, because if yeah. they say something else, <laughs> I'm getting in my car and I'm driving away <laughs> right now. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think I would constantly, I think I would do the constant, um, bragger over the constant complainer what about mm. you that's hard i know it is hard it's super hard because like i'm just trying to imagine just like because you're always like with the bragger you're always being like one up where it's just like man i had a really good day you had a re man but it was nothing compared and I, I, <laughs> I don't think i could live like that <laughs> I'm like, be honest. Have, <laughs> but have, then, yeah but i don't know the complainer is just like do you even like? Do you like life? Do you like, like it? <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything? What are we? What are, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Do you need to talk to somebody? <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe just bragger because it's like the less of two evils. Yeah. Because the complainer, I, 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 I can't get with that. Yeah. I, I can't. Not for long periods of time. That gets that that weighs on me, and then I just get irritated, and I'm just like, look, <laughs> look, <laughs> you gotta be happy about something. <laughs> oh yeah, and it, like like I said, we're all over the place, but. We got really good feedback on the uh, mukbang uh, episode. Okay, yes. Really? So we're gonna have to introduce that a yes. little more often. Like we yes. love to eat things, y'all. Like, <laughs> like, like I'm looking for excuses to eat. <laughs> like no lie. Like we. So we got we got really good feedback. So that's something we're gonna have to do more often because I'm and somehow I'm down be creative for it. because somehow, yeah. it is Alexander. Now I'm not going to, I ain't going to like shoot Alexander like all the way down, but it's not like, Oh, we're in like, you know, new Orleans or Houston or something like yeah. that. Where it's just like, you have like 20 different kinds of food. Like we, we like what we like. And that's yeah. what we, that's what we keep in like, the town. There's, <laughs> like, <laughs> there's American food with variations of American. Like there's no, Basically. I don't, I don't know of any traditional, now correct me if I'm wrong. Cause I could be wrong. But I don't know of any traditional, like food places that's like traditional uh, Asian, traditional uh, Vietnamese, think. traditional like African, traditional. I think, may, I, you know what? Like maybe the Vietnamese, because I've heard I've heard of a couple stuff. I think we have we have fairly traditional Mexican, but it's usually like American Mexican. Yeah. Like then we do have a lot more American than like actual like. 
be yeah. like the uh, it's American like, variations of of very common foods. Like yeah. you, like there's nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, we have the the the. the is it pho or is it pho? I heard people say pho. I think it's pho. Uh, it is pho. Okay. Okay. Oh, Viet Thai. Is that, is that, is that a, like yeah. a I tradition? I keep forgetting about them. I want to try them. Traditional. Okay. I'll have to, we'll have to try We'll have to try it on yes. here. We'll have to try it on here. We will have to try it. Yeah, we'll have to try it on here. And then um, Caro's, they do authentic. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. They, yeah, they do like the Shout authentic tacos. <laughs> like the, oh, the ones I was, I was telling you about that don't have. Like they don't even have cheese on them. It's like the uh, corn, corn tortillas. Mm-hmm. I think they do flour and corn, with like so, the uh, yeah. uh, the El Pastor pork and the or yes. you can do like beef or or chicken. Yeah, I've yet to have one bad thing from them. Yeah, Caro's <laughs> that place is really good. Yeah. I'm trying to think who else does authentic. Um, because I feel like I'm missing somebody. I'm sure we're missing. <laughs> I'm sure we're missing. I'm sure we're missing a lot of a lot of places, uh, and there's probably places we don't even know about. If you know of a place, please let us. Yeah, know. if you know of need, a place, we just need to know uh, a place uh, that we can do the next uh, mukbang. If you know of that place, put it in the comments. Let us know so we Honestly, can so we can try yeah. it out. Or a place you really love that oh food trucks. I, I haven't done a lot of food, food trucks. trucks, and we have really good food. Yeah, trucks we have. Here. I <laughs> haven't tried a lot of them, but we need to. We need to. Um, yeah, yeah, we need I to. Forgot uh, about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so food trucks that you like. We have a whole like food truck park. Yeah, there's a food truck park uh, on Main Street in Bonneville. It's just food truck, and they have like a stage for like entertainment, and they have like mm-hmm. the cornhole games out there and all that stuff. So it's That's yeah, time. yeah, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, so yeah, we will have to do for. We'll have to introduce that a little. I don't know how often. Like, uh, for if it was, whew, we might have to do it often. You know, just talk about whatever subject like we're to gonna talk lot. about and eat, <laughs> eat while I we like do it. Because I, I love to eat. Oh man! So in the comments, uh, let us know food trucks, uh, places that we probably haven't eaten at. Um, mm-hmm. Surprise us! Like, like don't get too crazy. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. It depends. Yeah, it depends. It depends. I'm 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 getting there with the the exploring food yeah. stuff, but it depends. Yeah, I ain't all the way there yet. I ain't, ain't oh, all the way there. speaking of man, we are all. I'm all over the place. <laughs> Not we. I'm all over the place. I tried um, recently. I tried the um, it's the the sashimi. So it's the sash- sashimi, oh, okay, and you yeah, make I nigiri with it. Like nigiri is like when you put sashimi over rice it's called mm-hmm. nigiri mm-hmm. and so i tried the sashimi at hana mm-hmm. uh and i was like man this it was yellowtail i was like this is like it melted like butter and i was like this this is really good and so we have we don't have a big variety the only uh the only sushi grade fish we can get here is pretty much salmon that's it. we so yeah. I tried it with salmon. I got, got some salmon from Sam's and it was really good. Uh, so you just what you have to do is because it's raw, you have to make sure that you're really clean. You're always like cleaning your hands. You're always because you don't want to introduce bacteria to the to the meat because it comes wrapped and it comes clean. So you have to clean all of your surfaces, clean your hands, uh, and like I was between every cut, I was like washing my hands, and then you. You steam your rice or whatever, and you you get it sticky where it'll stick, and you make your rice balls, and you stick your uh, sashimi on it. So it was it was raw salmon. It was really good. Like I think, do you eat fish? If you're not a fish person, then you probably I'm really like not. It. Okay, I'm really not. I'm 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 trying. I really am. I like I'm trying. Like I'm I've been contemplating attempts so i'm getting there <laughs> i think it's less fishy mm-hmm. than cooked salmon like and it's see, like when you cook the salmon it, it like it brings out all of those cause fishy honestly, flavors yeah because i've tried salmon and it was like it's it's not that it was terrible yeah it's just i'm not super big on fish so it's like when i ate it i was just kind of like i mean it's good it was just like it was just a lot so with the cooked fish mm-hmm. i think that it is uh well, no, with uncooked fish, I think that it is like it's a if you can get over the mind thing that I'm about to put uncooked fish in my mouth, 
chew it up and swallow it. Right. Like you the, don't have to trick me. Like <laughs> that's where I'm at with because it. the the you taste got to trick me. The taste is so good. Like it 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 felt like it tastes like there was butter on it. You know how butter just makes things good. Mm-hmm. So it tasted like I was eating a very mild, super tender, uh, piece of fish that was cooked in butter. Uh, and and that's salmon. Now, usually when you cook salmon, like if you pan fry it or something, like the rest of it, we did we did half of it sashimi, and then the rest of it we cooked because you know if you keep something, even if you keep something in the refrigerator, bacteria grows. So after that first time, I didn't want to risk getting sick. Yeah. So we just cooked the rest of it. Um, but when we cooked it, I I took some butter, put it mm-hmm. in a pan, got it hot, and just seared it on both sides to where it would get the get the inside hot enough just to kill a bacteria. So mm-hmm. and it, I think I think that it was better as sashimi than it was like pan seared and butter. Which pan seared and butter is really you do anything in butter it's gonna be good. It was really good but I I, I preferred it raw overcooked. I think that's just it, it's the raw thing. Yeah, that's what it's just that, that you that's know that it's raw. Me. Yeah. As soon as someone says and it's raw bleh, just like that <laughs> <laughs> immediately. <laughs> like and the texture was not weird. It was not like slimy or anything. It's just, it's like it's great. Like it's really good. It's really good. I, I enjoyed it. I just, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I, I, yeah, we made the sashimi at home and it, it, it was, it was good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, but back again, y'all, just make sure y'all, y'all let us know. Uh, yes, don't get too crazy. Well, I guess if I've tried raw fish, you know, I'll try whatever. Whatever. I yeah. will not. <laughs> I, will I will not, not try not. whatever. <laughs> we will eat at two different places. <laughs> you try. I will watch him eat it. There, there's a, um, there's a, uh, uh, it's not like a podcast, but it's a, a segment that these two guys do. It's a really good idea, uh, and you know I wouldn't people take and rebrand and do stuff all the time, but um, it's a cool idea. What they do is called lunchtime lottery. But they live in California, so uh, they have. They, so they'll yeah. just take and they'll pick a random genre. So whatever genre comes up. And then they'll look at the menus, and then the other person picks off the menu what they're going to eat. So they, they have, like, goat and all that stuff. that they huh. Different just because they have different stuff. That they could that they could eat, mm-hmm. but I thought that was I thought that was a. a cool. I'm not suggesting we do that. I'm just saying I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Eat the liver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, liver! Oh man, <laughs> that organ meat. I do not like organ meat. I, I can't. If you don't tell me, I feel like it would be better because once I it's, it's it goes back to like the raw thing because like once you know like it's all that stuff in your head that's just kind of And like here's my thing with with organ meat. Like no. Cajuns cook with organ meat a lot. They'll like <laughs> like Cajun boudin and stuff. They'll have liver. They'll have like chicken Wait, liver. Do they really? Chicken heart, chicken kidneys. Like hmm. they huh. it's all in the in, in, in like huh. I can take it I feel tricked. I can take <laughs> it in mild. Now every now that's that's not every boudin you eat. That's like I've eaten like a lot the, of different kinds. Like the so. real Cajun <laughs> traditional <laughs> Yeah, I've probably yeah. had a kidney or two. No yeah, oh yeah, you prob- <laughs> probably if you if you didn't realize from, it, but I probably yeah, did. if you've eaten from some last name like uh, Bordelon or or, or or Boudreaux or something like that, that's Cajun. <laughs> you've probably had some liver and I some, probably did. Like, I, I'm no not lies. saying that that. You know, but it, and I like it, the thing is like it was good, and yeah. I didn't even realize it. It's just I'm realizing now, huh? Should probably ask more questions. Yeah, I, I could probably like, <laughs> like I can take organ meat in that context when it's with rice, yeah. small well, portions. It's, it's, it's not, not just bad. and there's other meat in it. Mm-hmm. It's not complete liver, complete mm-hmm. like it's it's just in there, I guess, for whatever flavor they bring. Mm-hmm. Like I can do organ meat in that, but my thing is like a lot of people eat liver and don't don't if you whatever, internet don't kill me. But if you like liver, here's my thing with Be liver. Kind. Like <laughs> Liver is a filter. It literally yeah. filters out toxins yeah. from your body. So do kidneys. It it literally filters out. But now, you know what though? Like it's kind of it's 
y'all don't kill me. It's on the same level with catfish because catfish are. Oh if lord. I remember, yeah, if I remember, that's true. Catfish that's true. are. That's true. That's basically bottom what feeders. they do. They're just pretty much like those and little algae eaters. Tearing up some catfish. Oh, I, and I'm not saying it's not I good. It I'm just saying like. Here, and, uh, and this is my. I I just thought of this. This is my my point. I'm sure some of that gets into the meat, but most of that stuff is in the organs, like all that bad stuff. It's in yeah. the stomach and it's in the yeah. in the intestines and all of that. But the actual flesh of the animal, I don't know how much that's affected by the junk they eat. And it probably is. Uh, with the liver, like, I know that, you know, when you cook it, you kill bacteria mm-hmm. and you kill viruses and all that. But as far as, like, toxins, I don't know if fire kills, like, Certain toxins. I feel like it would depend on the toxin. Yeah, just I, because I like, don't there's know. some things I'm just like, you probably shouldn't eat that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I know if you put it, if you put it in, you heat it up to 150, whatever degrees it takes, it'll kill some stuff. But like I was watching this, I was watching this this video. It, I guess it went viral, of a lady was cleaning chicken, like before she cooked it, and she used a little bleach, and cleaned the chicken with a little bleach. And she was like, and she knew it was wrong because she was before she was like justifying it. And she was like before while she was making the video, she was like, this is just how I do it. And I know like she was defensive before while she was making the video. So she knew people was going to come for her. Ma'am. And and my deal is like, if you just uncook chicken, if you throw it in a pan, you'll have E. coli, you'll have uh, all this stuff. Fire is going to kill that. Like. It's gonna kill it. That's literally why. But they if say you cook put bleach, that's literally why <laughs> literally we cook why food. They like, say cook it. Yeah, we don't cook it for taste. It tastes good, but oh. that's literally why we cook food. Um, oh. Ask questions about the potlucks <laughs> you go into. <laughs> and like, I don't think I don't think fire is gonna kill bleach. Like, I don't think I don't, I don't know. It might, but you're like, oh yeah, I just used a little bleach. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> 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 like bleach, like literally, like that's. That will kill you. I'm sure the amount she used won't kill you, but and and it was cut with water or whatever. But that's I'm crazy. Be honest, I don't care. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's as soon crazy. as you say I use bleach, I I don't care what amount. I watch this. Speaking of man, we just we just rambling on. <laughs> like we'll get to the worship leader segment. It's coming. Um, y'all. It's coming, y'all. It's coming, y'all. We're just. It's coming. I keep getting these thoughts, and so like I was watching this video. Um, shout out to Kev on stage. Like I I watch I watch a lot of his stuff. And he he did it like the side by side, you know mm-hmm. how they have and they they commentary on it. He was talking about potlucks and, and stuff and people eating with people at work. And it had a lady, I guess somebody filmed her. This was a community piece of cake. And she like got it with the and licked the fork, then got some more, then licked the fork, then got some more, then licked the fork. And she was doing it kinda like like it was an O C D thing, like she had to it was more, it didn't feel like she, it felt like she was doing it out of ritual. She was like, and, and licked the fork, then got some more, and, and licked the fork again, and got some more. And she was like touching it with her hands, and she put the top back on it and left. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My stomach. <laughs> that, is, that is crazy. And, and from the outside, this was just a normal person. Like you would never think that they would do some treachery a trusted co-worker some uh, some <laughs> the audacity a trusted co-worker yeah a trusted co-worker <laughs> in the in the community the community um Ooh. cake just going to town this is bothering like, me. like that's crazy <laughs> this is bothering that's me. crazy i don't know how we got here but we're here <laughs> just on the on the food and stuff. this is getting me trust know. issues with every <laughs> potluck like like Potlucks and oh my goodness! Know, you know who you're doing a potluck? Yeah, with. yeah. I try to I try to know who I'm doing a potluck with. Yeah, who's doing uh, the cooking? Who made? Mm, okay. <laughs> like. Back around again, man. I'm just everywhere. <laughs> we were talking about sushi. Now I don't know if this is on the internet, but I'm gonna take. I'm gonna pat myself. I'm gonna be a bragger for a minute. Pat myself on the back. This is something, to my knowledge, mm-hmm. I know it's out there. But I didn't. I thought of this to do this on my own. I didn't see it anywhere. I'm sure people have. I'm not saying I came up with this idea because I'm sure it's out there. But I thought of it originally because I had never seen it before, and I was like, I think this would be cool. And this, I think you would eat. It's like sushi bowl is what what. It's okay. like rice. I'm intrigued. Or collie rice. Okay. In a okay. bowl, eel sauce like the. It's like sweet sauce. 
uh, spicy mayo, or you if you don't like that, on the eel okay. sauce. <laughs> you would like the, you would like the eel sauce. Probably not the spicy mayo, but you would like the eel sauce. If you don't tell me it's eel sauce, do you we'll eat, see. do you eat soy sauce? Yes, it's like sweet soy sauce. Okay, it's pretty much it's okay. th- it's thick sweet. Yeah, there's no eel in it. They call it that. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they call it that. Yeah. Oh, you heard eel sauce. And yeah, and sauce. I'm just like. No, 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 no. There's okay. no eel in okay. it at all. So it's just, that's just the name of the that's sauce. That's the name of it, okay. yeah. Okay. It's sweet okay, okay. soy sauce, uh, just, okay. and it's a little thicker. Right. Okay. You put that over the rice. Uh, whatever cream cheese, you cut it up, put it in a bowl. Uh, avocado, whatever you whatever you like. Oh, so it's like it's basically the Cucumber. sushi, but in like a stir-fry kind of Kind of style. way, yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, instead of putting treat. fish in it, we, we do, because I think like you American sushi, they have everything. Like we went to a place, Tsunami, they have like fried alligator in sushi. So I was like, well, we can just put some steak in there or some or some grilled chicken or whatever. So grilled chicken, uh, grilled not a bad uh, idea. steak, or you can do fish in the bowl with rice, hmm. whatever. If you want soy sauce, put that on there. Eel sauce, spicy mayo, cream cheese, or cucumber, like crab meat, or something crab like meat that. whatever you want. That's and not put a bad in the bowl idea, and it actually. It is really good. Like, it is amazing. And we do collie rice because now you're basically collie rice, that's vegetables. Y'all. Avocado, that's that's vegetables. Collard rice is well, good. If you like actually cauliflower, it's, a fruit, it's good. If you don't like cauliflower, it's death. But if you yeah. like cauliflower, it's really that's good. That's all we eat now. Like We have regular rice um, just because it's there because we mm-hmm. bought it. But all we do now is strictly collard rice. And um, it's, it's, it's pretty much you're eating a vegetable. And then if you do like gravy or something like that and, and like some beef or, or just some hamburger meat mm-hmm. and gravy and collard rice then it goes from like not not super healthy to now vegetables with meat and like and gravy is just seasoning and water yeah so it, it i mean it, it goes it just changes meals i feel like it but anyway yeah like that sushi bowl maybe we'll have to we'll have to curate it and try it on here we'll get it to to what you like and try it on here. Y'all like, pray. All right, y'all. Uh, we don't have to y'all do it, pray. but we can. Like, it's really good. I kind of, okay, because I, I really want to try it. It's just. It's really good. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just do it. Okay. Let's just do it. We'll, we'll do and it and see what happens. Yeah, we'll do it, and we'll just have a, a bunch of ingredients. Now, I ain't down with the cream cheese. I ain't cream down cheese, with yeah. the cream cheese. So, but, you, yeah. you just don't like you don't like like the thickness or the taste or the cheese or. It just does not look like something I want. Are you eat. lactose intolerant? If that's Not too really. personal, don't tell me. Like, Not really. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I'm just Not asking really. you these questions, and I don't know if you. <laughs> no, I mean, cause I throw, I can throw back some pizza. Like it's not oh, okay. Like, All right. So, so it's like, I just, I just don't, I don't think I really, I just don't like cream cheese. This is not something that yeah. I've ever just been like, ooh, cream ooh, cheese. Cream like, cheese. No, yeah. I'm not feeling it. Now, uh, cream cheese in, uh, like cream cheese in, like, um. Fruit salads or, or or icings and stuff like that. Can can you can you do that when you don't know it's cream cheese and it's got sugar and stuff in it? I feel like it. If I don't know it's cream cheese, like I can eat it. Yeah. It's just I'm just gonna be eating it like something right here. So, yeah. Like, something. <laughs> like cause wait. It's just like, you know, wait. It's it's sweet, but what kind of icing? Did <laughs> what you kind say? of? <laughs> okay. Cream scrape cheese. It, huh? Scrape oh. it off. Put it on top. Okay. Folds the plate. <laughs> 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 I will do that. It? Oh, it, it was great. <laughs> I will do that. Have done it. Fold. We'll do it again. <laughs> fold, fold the plate. I, I am not ashamed. I will that's, do it. Now funny. I ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna be just be bold with it. But if you see me with a plate and then I don't have a plate, don't feel no type of way. I'm, I'm laughing so hard because I've witnessed it before. I've seen it. I have done it. <laughs> no, I will straight it. put the napkin on top. All right. I've seen it, and now I know. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny. I will do it. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> with, I mean, with, and another thing we'll have to try. Man, this episode is just the, the runaway train. It's gone. We're gonna get to the worship leader eventually, but it's, it's it's out the window, y'all. It's gone. Another thing we might have to try is: Have you ever heard of the poutine? Like the, uh, it's Canadian. What was this? <laughs> but listen. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to have you first ingredient. First ingredient, I'm going to have you french fries. Okay. All right. Okay. It's we're french talking fries we're talking good stuff now. With okay. gravy. It's pretty much what it is. French fries with gravy over it. And then okay. they, there's all kind of different kinds of gravy that 
And it's a okay. Canadian we thing. We got to try this. Yeah. I well, want to try this. Okay. We'll have to make it ourselves because there's no places around here that. Nobody. Here oh, we, if you are, if you are a Canadian and you live here and you know how to make poutine, let us know. Let us know. We'll have you cook it for us and or you'll give us the ingredients and we can cook it. I guess we could just get some gravy mix and, and go to Sam's and fry up some fries and put it on there. But I don't think it would be, be I don't think it would be the same, you know. Anyway, we might want. We we'll might, figure it. Yeah, out. we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Now, the uh, for the worship leader part. Now, what I think you were you were you were telling me something. Kind of what what were you? Oh, okay. So y'all bear. I'm 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 gonna try my best to actually. I don't know. Okay, here we go. So basically, it, it's just kind of something that I felt really strongly because yeah, this is something that I've actually like struggled with. But just talking about like. An open, I guess, open, open discussion. dialogue. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. Of just like, okay, so like, what does it actually mean to be a worship leader? And then, yeah, we'll just start with that, and then I'll do the second part afterwards. Okay, just because, yeah, I don't want to like complicate. Com- okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what does it mean? I guess we'll get. I guess what I'll do mm-hmm. is give a general, overall, arching mm-hmm. definition, and then I guess we can just go from. Go from there. Not that I'm in authority on this, but uh, we're having an open dialogue, so I'm going to dialogue. <laughs> um, t- to be a worship leader is, um, I see it as like, have you ever been to an airport and you're on the runway and you're like, you see the guys? Mm-hmm. I, I used to work at an airport and I used to have to do that, like flag the people in the plane to go right, left, right. <laughs> that is, That is what... We are, and we are pointing people, directing them to God corporately because, because like, I've used this analogy before, like the children of Israel, like they were, they were to, to get up and move, but, uh, and they knew when the, when the cloud, when the cloud by day showed up, it was time to move. But there was somebody that had to corral everybody in together and get them on the same page and get them moving. So we know that we're supposed to worship God. We know that hmm. in a service we need to do this. But there's there's some people have that have been called in the area of worship leading that are more sensitive to God in directing people and and hearing where the spirit is going in a service and leading people there because you know if you got everybody just doing what they want to do it could kind of you know even though people are worshiping god it could kind of get a little chaotic so if you have somebody doing the worship service that has their ear to god and has their and that's corp that has the people's Mm -hmm. attention you know because some people may be may be thinking okay uh Okay, God's doing God. God's doing this, and somebody may be on it, and somebody may not, and you may have some clashing stuff. But if you have a worship leader that's that's you know, and the worship team, not just the leader, but the worship team, they feel that they uh, that things are settling. That point right there. Yeah, honestly, yeah, it's a, that yeah. Point, that the that whole right as there. a team, like <laughs> that one. they feel that things are settling. So if the whole worship team settles, the music settles, and there begins to be a transition. Of where the spirit's going now. If you don't have those worship leaders, I'm sure you'd get there eventually because God's moving. Mm-hmm. But having a worship leader, I think that's I think that's what we are called to do. We are called to lead people in worship uh, unto God. And in a in a in a church service, I think when you get people, different people from different walks of life that do mm-hmm. different things and worship in different ways, that's I true. think it's good to have a point of reference to draw everything in. And I think worship leaders are that pointing people to God, letting them see your worship, letting them emulate your worship and all of that. You know, yeah. and I don't that's like the this is a dialogue. That's not the yes. textbook this definition. So don't throw stones at me if you don't agree. I'm gonna be on, I don't yeah. think we really have like an actual textbook definition. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I, yeah, I don't <laughs> think I'm that gonna there be is honest. One. Yeah, yeah. So it's just kind of I don't I don't know. It's just cuz I know that we like we always say like, oh, this person's the worship leader or something like that, or like they're such a good worship leader. But it's just like we don't a lot of times we don't ever like actually have like a concrete. Yeah. Like this is what it is. Like everybody yeah. has like a general idea, but no one really like puts it to where at least for me, like I feel like no one ever 
really all the way puts it in the words yeah, all so, the time. Like so the, I've heard yeah. it occasionally where it's just like somebody who's been doing this, like they they'll say something or they'll make a comment or they'll right. give an explanation of just like this is what we're here to do. But right. it's like it's not to me like it's not really something that we just like commonly. Yeah, and I I, I, th- I think I know where you're going. Like, uh, it's not something we have a reference, a point of reference. If somebody wants to be a great worship leader, they don't have a point of reference to go and study. Yeah. Like, if 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 somebody wants to be a good preacher, they have like a seminary school and mm-hmm. all that, and they have a point of reference to go and study to be a yeah. a great preacher. I think one of the things with worship leading though is like people sometimes get afraid of of the technical. Mm-hmm. When it comes to worship leading, because the nature is to worship God and to not be too technical, uh, because that can throw some of the worship out. Yeah. Um, but I think that there needs to be some technicality and there needs to be some concrete things that someone that's aspiring to be a good worship leader can say, OK, we like to worship God, but also mm-hmm. we like to have this stuff in order, too. We mm-hmm. like to we like to like, OK, put. Put your shoes on. We're not just going to all the time. Put put your shoes on. If we're going to effectively if we're going to effectively lead people to God, then yeah, we need to have true. some things in order. You know, yeah. we can't we can't just because also it's like you also have to take into account like people who may have never been to church before. And like, let's say like they're. There is no direction. Everybody's just kind of like doing their own thing. I'm not saying like I've seen that happen, but it's just like yeah. you walk into a church service and everybody's doing their own thing, which actually there's scripture for that. Like somebody who's never been in church before. That's the whole brand Paul in Corinthians. Yeah, literally. that's the whole. And then like walk in and it's like, what? Yeah, that's why he told <laughs> them. If you, if you, they were they were like doing the whole like they were doing whole services and nobody speaking in English. Like people just Literally. running around speaking in tongues. Everybody's doing Ooh. something different. And Paul's like, look, <laughs> look, y'all, y'all look like barbarians to these people, and we can't win them if y'all looking like barbarians. Literally. Like they don't, y'all look like somebody out. You know, like never mind. Y'all just look like some people that <laughs> I was gonna say a a group of people, but I don't want to do that. That that. That's not appropriate <laughs> in today's culture. I, I was gonna, <laughs> you caught this so quick. I caught it quick. I was going to say a group of people, but I'm not going to say that group of people. <laughs> that was good. That was Shout good out to again. that group of people. <laughs> nah, I'm, 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 <laughs> Let me stop. I need to stop. I'm treading on. I'm treading on some. Oh, okay. Stop. But anyway, yeah, that's what that's what Paul was talking about. Like. The, the the order of it and I don't think I don't think order should kill worship mm-hmm. I think worship should be done freely it should be be uh people should be allowed to worship freely people should be allowed to do all these things and and worship leaders should be allowed to do that I just think because you are giving the t- you are have been calling as a worship leader and you're given the title as a worship leader. Sometimes, you know, if you're an altar worker, mm-hmm. sometimes you don't get the you don't get the privilege of being able to lose it. <laughs> Slang. <laughs> you know, it's OK Oosh. to not ever. You know, you can you can lose it as an, as an altar worker and it'd be OK. But for for the most if God's calling you and you have to do this, then you have to do it and you have to lose it and whatever. Like, I'm not saying mm-hmm. you never you never just. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Where is this? I mean, I, I think if you mean where it's just like if you're if you're like an altar worker at your church, but you were slain 100 percent of the right. time. Exactly. You are not an altar worker at your church. Exactly. You were slain. <laughs> like. Right. right. That's, good one. That's that. And so as a worship leader, you know, we have to there's we have to put on the hat of. See, I'm using all these words that aren't good for worship leader, but as the worker, like if you're an altar worker, you're working the altar. Yeah. So if you are a worship leader, you're putting on the hat of of a worship leader and you're doing what you're called to do. And that's, in my opinion, point people to Jesus. Yeah. You know, and and so sometimes we have to, sometimes we have to have our Jesus and keep our Jesus and keep our Jesus enough to be able to point people to him. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Because also it's like when you're, when you're like in a service, Let's say like you're you're jumping and going and like all this like you know pray for it like all that other stuff. Yeah. But then like let's say like all of a sudden there's just a shift. Yeah. If 
everybody literally in the room doesn't really know what to all of a sudden you just like the the service itself has been killed because now there's no structure or there's no leadership yeah. or anything like that right, so it's right. like right you got to be yeah. able to <laughs> and i think i think you can live in a world where where you just you're gone Mm -hmm. But when God speaks and it moves, you have to be able to. Yeah, that's like true. Like you said, you have to be able to change gears, which like, takes a lot of practice. Yeah, because it's just like yeah, you have to be able to change gears <laughs> <fine> and, <laughs> and let everybody know. Okay, God's spirit is doing this. We're changing gear, and that's where the whole team comes in. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, one person doesn't have to wear that hat. That's a lot of responsibility. But mm -hmm. when you have the the director, whoever's playing the music, and you have the whoever whoever singing, like the worship leaders and the, the mm -hmm. and the um. The praise team, when you have everybody, you have everybody with their ear to God. You, it doesn't have to be this one person with their ear to God that hears and have, because that's a lot of responsibility. If I have to be the, the person to Preacher. know when the shift comes and to transition yeah. the shift, that's a lot. So it's good to, to have a, a a few people, you know, that are, that are, I guess worship leading is a, is a, a team effort thing, like as far as as far as the the art of leading people to God. Uh, That's true. <clears throat> so, but but yeah, I think that would be my overall arching definition would be like to we are we are called to lead to worship God first. But then in the service in order, it, it, we're pointing people to God cuz like I said, I'll go over to other things. You have people that that come in that are not <clears throat> necessarily God focused right now. They they yeah. they whatever. Well, you're saying, hey, wake up, God. You know, mm -hmm. let's worship Him. Let's do this. That that's that's one of the things we're called to do is to get everybody pointing because you get everybody in one mind and one accord and pointed in the right direction toward God. Then powerful things can happen corporately. Mm -hmm. God can move in any situation, but when when you have someone that that effectively grabs everybody at everybody's attention not for themselves but points them to God and say okay we're worshiping God right now and everybody's corporately has bought into that then God because of of the way God has set up things because of his nature the way he set things up when people are are doing something corporately there's usually a a bigger and a more powerful move than mm -hmm. a bunch of individuals just doing their own thing right however they they see fit so i think we play a we play a big role in that we're not the say all be all as worship leaders <laughs> but we play a big role in that you got pastors and all and everything you have all kinds of things but i, I think we play a big part in, and honestly in that. though but like that makes it it makes it easier too because then like all the pressure is not just on the person that's speaking or, you know, the senior pastor of the church or something like yeah. that to, like, make sure, you know, everything's, like, steering in the right direction. Like, it, going back to the team thing, like, when there's more than one person involved in doing it, it just makes it easier. Yeah, it does. It, it makes it a lot easier. And when you were saying that, like, a lot of times the, the, the preacher may be focused on, like, it's good, it's good to worship and so, but a lot of the a lot of the pe preaching preachers that I see, they worship, but they're they're also they have their their message and the the word that God has given them to deliver to His people. That's at the forefront of their mind. Not yeah. not that worship takes a back seat. No, but, but it's like they they stay they're staying focused. Right, they're just right, like, right. It's it's coming up. Yeah, like I right. need to be ready. Right, exactly. Yeah, I need to. I can be, whoa, I know. <laughs> we might know Pastor the preacher on. <laughs> he on the floor. Just gone. <laughs> just, just gone. Well, I guess. Uh, <laughs> y'all got some more songs back I there. <laughs> They're like, y'all want to sing anything <laughs> else? <laughs> like, <laughs> we, we weren't really prepared for this. <laughs> y'all want so. So as a team, you know, it's it, it, it's good to have that team, I guess. Yeah. I don't even know where we started ready? laughing, but I don't even y'all y'all ready back there? I know. <laughs> That's a good point. Like <laughs> Oh my god. But if God does decide to do that, then that's not, you know. But normally if that happens though, like the half of the church is doing the same thing to be right, honest yeah, too. Yeah, and and then the like, pastor the pastor says, "Okay, it's over. God's taking over." Not now we still pray. Like, <laughs> now we're still playing and let pastor sleep on the home. Everybody right. looking around like, <laughs> "What was I know he was here. He was here for the second song. I saw him walk across. <laughs> I just saw him. <laughs> 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 just sleep in the Lord." 
<laughs> Slain. <laughs> like, all right, Pastor, get up. Yeah. Come get this word. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you were talking about um, another, you had like another, I guess mm-hmm. another section or another mm-hmm. question or, or something like that. So what yeah. what was what you have in mind? Um, So let's see. Also, shout out to Eric for helping me get that together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically just, I mean, because like we talked about like, you know, like in service and all that other stuff, but also like, I guess giving a little more definition. And I know like we've, we've talked about it in another, in another episode, but just like, honestly, like the logistics and just, I guess, discussing yes. the. Okay, I know exactly. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, and this will probably have to cover more in depth in another mm-hmm. podcast because this yeah. this is very broad. Uh, <clears throat> I think f- for like logistics, I think one of the things like like again, like I said, there's there's not really much of a reference of the human part, like mm-hmm. because it's true because we don't want to downplay the worship part. Because honestly, like I feel like on an everyday, well, not every, not just every, I'm. Um, I had just had two thoughts try to come at the same time. I'm sorry. I guess like for like as a as like a oh I want to model my style after this person. We don't really have a whole lot of that just yeah. because like when you think worship leader, you immediately go to like that service or that yeah, concert uh, or something. Uh, yeah, like you that. you're not you're not in the car with them when they're when they're yeah. okay right here. I need to throw a course right here or yeah. or, or we're you know. I like feel nobody. like God is moving. Let's drive a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah you you just see the the big picture of, yeah. of the person in front of people leading worship, but you don't see the the smaller things. Yeah. So I, I think I think what we I think what we how we how we bring that to real life, like leading people mm-hmm. in worship, is we one of the things is we're we're very aware of doing things smoothly because if we don't if, if there's not smooth transitions and there's not and and we don't have a charted path of ahead mm. of us uh that we can at least do and if spon- mm. if spontaneous spontaneity spontaneity happens mm. then it happens off of a road we've already we've already charted yeah um i i, I think it's good to have like the way the way I do it is, I have templates. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I'll have a template for a song. So um, I'll have a template for a song, and and the song is, let's say it's "How Great Is Our God." Sing with me, "How Great Is Our God." Mm-hmm. So I will have a template verse, chorus, first verse, down chorus, up chorus, whatever. Like uh, um, a I guess an order or a sequence for the song. And so during that, during that, we want to make sure that we are like, if God calls you, I guess everybody does that. Everybody has a sequence. But where the worship leader part comes in is when you have to deviate from that sequence because mm-hmm. God's moving. Yeah. So now what do we do? And there's there's worship leaders and you got a band, you got a bass player and you got a guitar player and you got whatever. And we didn't discuss this in practice, but God is moving. And now we have to be a worship leader and we have to change courses. Mm, And how do we avoid chain train wrecks? I think what we do is real time is we don't get too produced. So if you, if you want to go to a course, you say that and you make it very clear for, for everybody involved you make it clear for whoever's on keys whoever's on the bass whoever mm. is singing like you make it clear okay course even if you have to talk it out during thing mm-hmm. all right we're gonna do another course right here mm-hmm. and they they know okay the the sequence and you give them enough time to be able to adjust don't do that <laughs> yeah don't don't just throw it before singers, the chord singers change. can roll with yeah, it singers, if they're paying yeah. attention but yeah. musicians are literally we're gonna do this course and you get given them like half yeah. a second and they're yeah. just like what wait <laughs> what? My, my hands are already moving to the next chord and you know the, it's so, like we've already started the progression. Yeah, you ain't singing yeah, no kind of course. Yeah, no course. We've already started. We're in now. We can't. And so, and so we want to make sure we're. If we know God is moving, you can feel you know that there's a shift in it, and and you know God is moving. You just want to make sure that everybody's as a worship leader that everybody's on the same page. So we want to give early, uh, 
of transitions. We want, mm-hmm. want to be early enough for everybody to, to be able to adjust. So even if it's halfway through that verse or halfway through that course, you're throwing a, you're throwing another course sign or you're mm-hmm. doing like this. We're going to take it down for this next course or whatever. And, and if you, if you have to turn around and do this or say, all right, we're going to do another course. Um, why don't y'all sing along with us? Um, mm-hmm. If you have to throw that in, doing that is less of a distraction than, than just doing it. <laughs> just throwing up course real quick, and then you got somebody that was on the E, and they try to shift to to an A real quick, Whoa. and then you got the singers. <laughs> Some people caught it, and they are they're on the verse, and then other people didn't catch it, and they jumped to the chorus. Like that is a much bigger distraction than because now it's chaos it's now but it's, chaos. it's chaos on the platform because everybody looking at everybody else is like yep yep <laughs> and then 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 you got what's going on and then you got some people that's that you know when when they're hit with something like that they shut down all together and now Literally. now they've stopped singing or snatch me right up out the spirit <laughs> i'm trying to uh, up, it <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. Snatch me right up out the spirit, Lord. What Literally <laughs> take, the, take the right out because it's just like, where are we? <laughs> where are we at? All right. Like, Where'd they go? Where they go? Oh, that ain't on the screen we, back we are there. Not together. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we want to make sure that we're we're if if we're in the driver's seat, or if we we've heard from God, and usually in programs, in music programs, there are people. Now, this is a whole nother issue. If if there's somebody mm. that you can't trust to do that and they don't like people I'm trying, trying to find, to find the yeah, words. I'm trying to find the words <laughs> like there are there are people I guess that are called to different levels and I think that God speaks to everyone and God can speak to everyone and there are outlying moments when God gives gives the person that has not it's not seasoned and experienced in it. He gives them a word and they go forth with that word. But I feel like that is the exception and not the rule. Like usually if <clears throat> usually usually God's giving the word to people that have been in the in the I guess been in the wilderness for lack of a better term. They've they've gone through they've gone through the process. Mm-hmm. Not the wilderness, the process. They've yeah. gone through the process of hearing his voice on the platform and knowing how to uh knowing how to you know when yeah. when God when he picked his disciples he didn't just start he didn't say go ye right there Be he free. <laughs> they they followed him around for 3 years and they learned they they yeah. they learned how to speak with people and how to take people's culture and to twist that into into the gospel and yeah. uh, so i feel like you know if if God's speaking to a lot of people the 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 rule most of the, and it's not a hard rule you you know the rule or the 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 most of the time it's he's speaking to the people that have been there and done it and they're and they're trained to do it and the exception is he'll speak to the person that kind of hasn't done it a whole lot and and they mm-hmm. and they're not really acclimated to being in front of people and speaking and 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 when it comes time to shift they may kind of be like uh, you know mm-hmm. th- and there's nothing wrong with this people it's it's just part of the process of growing as a worship leader mm-hmm. uh and whatever whatever stage you're at you know mm-hmm. is great and that's the stage you're in and that's the stage you're meant to be in and to grow from that but i feel like god usually calls the person that is in the stage of of commanding and i don't mm-hmm. i just use no, command but as, i get what you mean though cuz it's like what's coming to mind is like jesus actually talks about and i forget where it's at but i remember like he talks about how it's like don't just put yourself in the top position like because one you're setting yourself up to be embarrassed right when somebody who's actually in the top position shows up and they're just like what you doing like (laughs) right right, don't just sit in the top seat like you know allow yourself to be you know, brought into that. And that's not to say like, you know, when, if like, if God is moving on you in the moment, come like you, you know, when it's a good time and when yeah. it's not like God's going to tell you, right. but it's like, be okay with saying, you know what? I'm not, I'm not the head of this or I'm not like, I'm, I'm not in that position. To, if, if that makes sense. Yeah. And Where if you like, and, and to speak to the head 
of places, you have to give people the freedom to try. Mm-hmm. Like if our battery is, is running low, so it may kill on us. So we're, we're going to keep this discussion going. Um, but it's just to let you know if it kills on us or whatever. Uh, so uh, if you are the leader, you have to give grace for people to try it mm-hmm. and to get it wrong. Mm-hmm. Because that's when you grow. You know, when you nail it, you're like, okay, I got it. But when you don't nail it, you're like, okay, I know what that felt like to not nail it and to, and, and to not, to not, it not be God, it be me. Mm-hmm. And that, that's okay. Like people have to, people have to be able to do that. So as a, as, as a leader, you have to allow that grace, but also as the person that is, that's, doesn't usually do it if God speak to you speaks to you then you have to you have to own that position you can't get up and be like well I kind of think that it, maybe it might be God and, hey, and forgive me <laughs> forgive me if I'm wrong and if I'm stepping out of boundaries and real timid and stuff if you feel like God declared that to you then you declare it and if it's I mean if it if it's something that that you yeah. feel like God's declaring it's not gonna be in any way you know, bad or negative to anybody. So it'll just be an encouraging word. If it's not, if it's not of God, it'll be an encouraging word for you. But, but if you are, um, if you are in a position where you're new at this and God's speaking to you, then, then own that position, take it, you know, thus say of the Lord and say it, you know, whatever, you don't have to say thus say of the Lord, but you know, (laughs) say that. And I had a point that where I was going way back, I was going from somewhere to that, um, but I don't know exactly where <laughs> I don't know. We talked I, around. I so think much. I kind of I think I kind of get what you're saying though. Where it's just like, as a leader, make place for it. Yes, they're probably going to make mistakes because it happens. But it's okay because we got to make place for it. Yeah. But also, as the person who's being given, you know, being given the opportunity and stuff, like don't just I mean, don't half step it, and then be you know second guessy and doubting and stuff like that. Like no. God spoke to you, so this is what it is. Yeah, right, right, exactly. And and in that, um, in that, I don't know what I was saying. Like in that, usually the whole change and throwing course. What I was saying. Okay, so we don't need the leader throwing course, and then somebody back on the praise team. Woo! I feel God. Let's go to the verse. Like we don't, do not do we that. Don't, <laughs> we do <laughs> not do that. We don't. That's what I. That's what I said. All that to say. Do so, not do that. So we want to make sure that we want to make sure that. that Usually the the person that for that for that moment, unless you're really really feeling it, and and you know I would even if you're really feeling it and you're back then I would even kind of throw it to the worship leader first, but yeah. like, first here, like and in real also, time to see what they say. And also though, like when when is God? God's also going to give you wisdom on right. how to go about doing it. Exactly. Like, it's not going to be one of those things where it's just like, well, bless God, I heard from him and I'm going to do it anyway. Right. Like, no, the, stop. Yeah, like, right, exactly. <laughs> stop that. Because um, it's just like you, it's it's not just you. Right. It's not just one person. Like, this is, this is, we're, we're, we're involved, this involves the body now. Right, exactly. Like, <laughs> it's, exactly. it's, it's right. not just you, you know? Uh-huh. And so it's just like, wow, it may be, you may just be like, I felt like we should have did this. And the worship leader that's, you know, like running the service, something like that, or running the set at that time does not do that because they may have felt something different or they're just, I mean, there's something else going on or something like that. Like you have to also be okay with. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You know what? I'm not making the decision. Cause at the end of the day, when God gives you something, if he really wants you to give it, He's going to provide the space. He's going to provide the right. opportunity, and he's also going to provide the, um, the not the process, but the, uh, the yeah, I plan of how to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's going to lay out. Like you're not going to have to walk up to somebody and whisper in their ear Just, or whatever. Man, I know you're leading a song right now, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you when we go back into that chorus, can we flip? Just just give the sign like that. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going, now. I'm going back. <laughs> I'll be back here if you need me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So we have to, we have to make sure. Yeah, that that's and that's that's really good. Like the point you you said. Like if God's calling you to do it, then there will be space for it. He'll mm-hmm. make he'll chart the path. Like there's mm-hmm. he'll make a, he'll make that way for you. So I, and I think we can go more in depth because this this can go. We just oh, covered just 
transitions. Mm. That, that was all we covered during That's this was, was just transitions. I forgot that uh, we haven't gone back to that yet. Yeah, and, and and this this could be a whole nother podcast subject because it it's it is more than just transitions. That's just all we covered today. Yeah. And it's getting a little long. The battery's about to go out and all that stuff. Oh. So <laughs> we'll probably need to probably need to cut it. Probably right here, <laughs> unless you had something that you really, if honestly, you have something that you no, really, really this need was, to. I honestly, it was just, I don't know, this was something that I just felt really, really strongly, yeah. and I didn't really have a whole bunch of a plan about it. But <laughs> <laughs> bless God, we got through. I know. <laughs> <laughs> honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I just, that's, it was just something, because I mean, it's, I mean, it, 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 this, this is the stuff that I feel like we, I'm, I, I, everybody, especially people that are, we feel, who feel called to worship leading, that's like, that's that one, that's one of those things where it's just like, okay, so what about this, or what about this, and yeah, what I does know, this even mean? I know when to fall on my face and how to fall on my face and all of that. Yeah. But let's talk about this, you know, yeah. interacting with other people and getting, getting things together. Yeah. You know, it's, I, I don't know, it's. I don't know. It's yeah, <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, and we'll we'll have to break this down more because, like you said, that's not that's not discussed a whole lot. Like mm -hmm. usually, worship leaders tell you or people tell you that just follow God, worship, and everything will work out. I'm sure it will work out because you can never go wrong with. Well, it won't always work out because God expects more than just worshiping Him. If you're doing something corporate and if this is something that needs to flow and needs to move along, then there's there's certain boxes and there's certain things he's expecting you to check. Mm -hmm. uh, he's expecting you to worship him first and foremost. Mm -hmm. But also, if you're if you're if you're the if you're the person that's that's getting this thing, you know, mm -hmm. keeping this thing together, then he's expecting more than just he's expecting worship in addition to other things. Yeah, I feel personally like there's a, there's an there's an an involve there we go an involvement piece that, yeah that comes and we'll, yeah and we'll have to talk more I guess yes. on, about yes. the involvement and the logistics of things and and how how do you go from from spirit and idea to fleshing it out in a service yeah we'll have to we'll mm -hmm. have to that that'll be a good podcast maybe we can talk about that next Honestly, just extend it <laughs> yeah <laughs> if we're not eating on the next one then we'll we'll talk about it well, we don't know what we we're doing eating, but that'll knows? be a good one that, that'll be a good one. we'll talk about that one very soon next or yeah. or next to next you know <laughs> <laughs> all right guys again we want to thank y'all for just over eight thousand clicks listens views thank uh, so on much. this podcast we we really we really uh we really want to say thank y'all and, and and keep it up. We we uh yeah. we enjoyed we enjoyed doing this, and it's good to know that uh that at least some people out there enjoy watching and listening and somebody and are getting there. some somebody out there <laughs> somebody out there love us, you know. <laughs> so uh, it's we we thank y'all, and again, you know, um, check out the link, and you can go download the the free uh, ebook uh, e whatever it is <laughs> and uh you can Read check it. us out on spotify <laughs> spotify spotify <laughs> <laughs> it's with a d i've called it spotify so many times spot it, it, which one is it i think it no no i think you're right it is spot spot spotify Duh, spotify with a d or with spotify. a t spotify it's a t go. or a d it's a t, t. It's spotify a okay well some okay, people well. say it with it say it like there's a d in there but it's it's a t it's just okay all right spotify, yeah. what, what spotify. we're on that whatever it is we're on that the thing with the music the thing with the music <laughs> apple music google podcast stitcher all of the things all of them. check us out uh and we will catch you guys in a couple of weeks it's been fun peace peace